Okay, hello guys. So, meron na naman tayong isasolve na problem. Okay, ito naman is related to angle between two curves. Okay, so I prepared here two questions. So, this is question number one and then this is the second um, item. Okay, so unahin natin ito. Find the angle between the curves um, x squared y plus 4y equals 8 and x squared y equals 4. So, you pause first the video, try to answer, and then pag nasagutan, um, balikan tong video para i-compare nyo yung solution nyo and at the same time yung answer nyo dito sa um, answer ko. Okay? So, anong first rule natin pag ganito yung given? Um, kunin natin yung kanilang point of intersection. Okay? We get the point of intersection by equating, okay, ay by getting the value of your x and y. So, maganda dito is that given two equations, meron tayong two variables, so makasusolve natin si x and y. So, itong given class is x squared y plus 4y equals 8 and then x squared y equals 4. So, itong x squared y class, sa second equation natin, that is just equal to 4 daw. Wherein, yan yung first term ng ating first equation. So, para makuha ko yung value ni y dito sa first equation natin class, sa substitute ko, or papalitan ko si x squared y ng 4 na lang. So, magiging, yan ay maging 4 plus 4y equals 8. Ba? So, that is 4y equals 8 minus 4, that is 4. So, divided by 4, divided by 4. So, that will give us y is equal to 1. So, meron na tayong y. Then, I will substitute this value 1 sa ating second equation, x squared y equals 4. So, magiging x squared times 1 equals 4. So, x squared is equal to 4. Kailangan ko si x. So, square root ko both side para matanggal yung square. So, x is equal to 2. Okay? So, meron na tayong point of intersection class which is 2 and 1. So, meron na tayong x and meron na tayong y. Okay, let's recall class the formula for getting the angle between the curves. Ano yung formula natin? That is tangent theta, okay, tangent theta or phi ang gamit, gamit natin is equal to the absolute value of your m2 minus m1 all over 1 plus M2 times your M1. So, meron tayong M2, meron tayong M1. So, our next goal here is to solve for our um, M2 and M1. So, ang M2 lang class, ibig sabihin, the slope of your equation 2, then M1 is the slope of our equation 1 or the curve 1. So, dito ko siya ilagay. Okay? So, ang curve 1 natin class is x squared y plus 4y is equal to 8. So, para makuha natin class yung slope 1 natin, we need to get first our y prime, and then after getting the y prime or the first derivative, we substitute the value of our x and y, which is 2 and 1. So, kunin natin ang first derivative. So, this is implicit um, differentiation. Okay? So, u, kasi product rule tong x squared y, so u, Derivative ni y is y prime plus v. Derivative ni x squared is 2x. Plus derivative ni 4y, that is 4y prime equals derivative ni 8, that is a constant, so that is 0. So magiging, labas ko si y prime. Um, common sa kanila is x squared plus 4 equals, ito transpose ko sa right, magiging negative 2xy. All over, divide ko both side by x squared plus 4 para maiwan lang isi y prime natin. Okay? Cancel. So, y prime now is equal to negative 2xy all over x squared plus 4. Para makuha natin si m1 natin, we substitute the value of our x and y, so 2 and 1, sa ating first derivative. So, magiging negative 2 times 2 times 1 all over 2 squared plus 4 and our m1 is equal to 
plus negative 4, 8, uh, 4 plus 4, 8, negative 1 half. Okay, meron tayong M1. Next goal is M2. So, M2 from our curve 2, which is, ano yung curve 2 natin? x squared y equals 4. So, that is x squared y equals 4. Ang goal natin is M2. But first, we need to get the derivative of this. So, u, derivative ni y is y prime equals 0. Ay, no, no, no. Hindi pa pala tapos yun. Plus pa pala. Plus. Okay, plus v, derivative ni u is 2x. Okay? Then, derivative ni 0, ano for is 0. So, y prime now is equal to, to transpose ko sa kabila, maging 2xy negative all over yung si x squared natin. So, that is x squared. So, ang m2 natin, we substitute the value of our x and y. So, diretso na natin yan, class. So, negative 2 times 2 times 1. So, that is negative 4. So, 2 squared is 4. So, that is negative 1. Okay? Meron na tayong M1 tsaka M2. So, balik na tayo sa formula natin which is tan phi. Okay? Equals the absolute value of M2 minus M1 all over 1 plus M2 and M1. So, that is equal to m2 that is negative 1 minus negative 1 half over 1 plus negative 1 times negative 1 half Aba? so that is tan phi ayan makikita nyo yung next problem natin so tan phi is equal to Anong sagot dyan? Negative. Negative 1. Plus 0.5 all over 1. Plus. 0.5. Negative 1 third. Okay. So that is negative 1 third. Or absolute value, it becomes positive. Phi now is the arctan of one third, and that is equal to the inverse tangent sa calculator niyo of one third, and that is equal to eighteen point forty three. Okay, 18.43 degrees. So, that is the angle between these two functions. x squared y plus 4y equals 8 and x squared y equals 4. Okay? So, let's take this another example. We have y squared equals 2x and then 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 5y equals 0. Now, Una is we solve for the point of intersection. Okay? Solve for the point of intersection. Ngayon, ang um, problema natin is 4x squared, 4y squared plus 5y equals 0, and then y squared equals 2x. Ang point lang dito is gawa mo siya ng paraan para makuha mo yung value ni x and y. Ang gagawin ko dito is, i-square ko tong y squared equals 2x, both sides y squared equals 2x. Pag in-square ko yan, it will give me y to the fourth equals 4x squared. Where in tong 4x squared na ngayon, siya ang first term ng ating second curve. Okay? Ito na ngayon yung ilalagay ko dun class. So magiging ito, papalitan ko na ng y to the fourth. Okay? Plus 4y squared plus 5y is equal to 0. And then, common ang y sa kanila. So, magmumultiply ako all side, uh, both sides ng 1 over y. Then, it will give me y cubed plus 4y plus 
equals 0. Okay? And then, kunin ko yung values ng ating y. So, if that is sa third degree, there are three possible values ng ating y. Okay? So, you can use your calculator yung sa table. Okay? Yung ito. If you have this kind of calculator, you have your 570s plus ganon. Yung sa mode equation, mode 5, and then yung 4, yung ax cube. Okay? So, ang a mo yung mga constant mo. So, that is, ang a mo is 1, ang b mo is 0 kasi wala namang naka-raise to 2. And then, 4 ang c mo, and then ang constant mo is 5. So, that will give us y1 is equal to negative 1. Wait, nag-move. Okay? So, ang y1 natin is negative 1. And then, ang y2 natin is imaginary. So, walang value. And then, y3 natin is another imaginary. So, ang i-consider natin na value ng ating y is negative 1. Okay? And then, after getting the value of y, pwede natin i-substitute doon para makuha natin si x. So, or kaya doon na lang sa original, which is y squared minus 2x, ay equals 2x, though they are the same naman. So, negative 1 squared, doon sa so y squared equals 2x natin, equals 2x, so that is 1 equals 2x divided by 2 divided by 2, you have no x is equal to 1 half. So, meron na tayong point of intersection. So, ang point of intersection natin is negative 1 and 1 half. Okay? So, point ni Okay? So, ang point natin is negative 1 ha, positive 1 half. Okay? Positive 1 half and ang ating y is negative 1. Double check ko lang. Okay. So, meron na tayong and then, we proceed now to um, M1 and M2 natin. Okay? Solve natin si M1. So, ang curve 1 natin is y is equal to 2x. y squared is equal to 2x. So, first, kunin natin yung first derivative nito. So, that is 2y, y prime. Kasi baba, copy the base, minus 1. Derivative the base is y prime. And then, derivative of 2x is 2. So, y prime is equal to 2 all over 2y. And then, para makuha si m1, we substitute the value of our x and y. So, ang y lang ang meron naman ay 2. Patak to. 2 all over 2y. So, that is, um, yung y natin is negative 1. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, that is 1 divided by negative 1. m1 is negative 1. Tama ba? M1 is negative 1. Yes. Okay? And then, ang M2 natin, M2, so we have to get yung curve 2 natin. Ano yung curve 2 natin? That is 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 5y equals 0. So, kunin natin ang derivative nito. It will give us 8x. Tama ba? Okay. Plus 8y y prime plus 5y prime equals 0. So, magiging baba copy the base. Tama. So, y prime times 8y plus 5 equals negative 8x all over 8y plus 5 all over 8y plus 5. So, y prime is negative 8x all over 8y plus 5. And to solve for our slope number 2, for that curve 2, we substitute yung value natin ng x which is 1 half and then yung y natin which is negative 1. That is 
four thirds. Tama ba? Okay, that is four thirds. So, ang slope 2 natin is four thirds. And then, proceed na tayo sa last step, which is tan phi now is equal to the absolute value of our M2. So, that is four thirds minus M1, that is negative 1, all over 1 plus M2 times M1. Okay? And then phi now is tan inverse of the answer. And that is equal to... Sorry, 4 over Okay, that is arctan of 7. Okay, then phi now is equal to 81.87 degrees. Okay, so that is the answer for that question.